This is Lenny, the lawyer, coming to you today from the mountains of Clifton, New Jersey. And I'm really worked up today because I keep hearing so much misinformation and incomplete information on the internet from so-called marketing gurus. They think the LLC is dead. They don't even know what an LLC is. An LLC is alive and well, let me tell you, and no uncertain terms. But to be a valid LLC, it has to be set up properly and custom drafted by an attorney. So if you want to learn more about this and other legal topics that are relevant now, make sure you click on the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon at the top so you'll always get notified about videos each time I make them. That was just a short coffee break. But no, seriously, taking legal advice from anyone other than a licensed attorney in your state is foolhardy, and it will cost you more problems and money down the road than what you think you're saving at the beginning. I have listened to dozens of videos on YouTube over this past weekend, and I feel compelled to make this video to set the record straight. A limited liability corporation is a legitimate corporate vehicle. It is alive and well, but for it to be proper, it must be drafted by an, a licensed attorney. There are specific requirements for an LLC. For our purposes today and for simplicity, remember these main things. An LLC must have three not one, not two, three or more members for it to be a legitimate LLC. It needs to have an operating agreement and it needs to have a separate business account for checking and savings. And it has to be kept separate from your personal funds. You cannot mix personal and business funds. If you do not have a limited liability corporation properly drafted and formed for your specific situation, you may have serious legal problems. Now, if you remember back before the pandemic, when you could go out and have a choice of buying a one size fits all piece of clothing or have a custom made three piece suit or two-piece suit if you're a lady. Think how good it felt to have a suit custom made just for you. It felt a lot better than any one-size-fits-all piece of clothing, didn't it not? Okay. When you have an LLC custom drafted by an attorney, the attorney knows exactly what your business is going to be because they're going to ask you the questions that are required. They're going to draft the proper documents and they're going to help you and do more for you than some accountant who's interested in pushing paper. An accountant's favorite type of corporate entity is the subchapter S corporation. And I've cleaned up the mess of countless subchapter S corporations because all a subchapter S is nothing more than an election in tax law. And in reality, it provides no protection whatsoever to anyone other than the accountant who has to do a lot more paperwork for a subchapter S than an LLC. So when I draft an LLC, which is a limited liability corporation, I custom tailor it to each individual situation. And each LLC that I put together has at least three members, one of whom is a managing member. Other businesses will treat an LLC as a more legitimate form of business than they will partnerships, sole proprietorships, and yes, the accountant's favorite, subchapter S. But there's an even better way to have business structure. 
And I'm going to talk about that briefly now. And in another video, I'll go into it in more detail. One of the things I want you to know is the best type of corporation, the most common and the safest one that really limits your liability if something happens is a C corporation. A C corporation has the word INC in the title. So it could be ABC Inc. Or let's say ABC Inc. Real Estate Services. And I'm going to use ABC Inc. Real Estate Services to illustrate a concept for you. When you have a C corporation formed by a licensed attorney, and then you have three member LLCs formed by a licensed attorney, it will be set up so that the C corporation owns each of the three member LLC corporations or limited liability corporations. The reason for this is as follows, and I'm going to illustrate the concept with ABC Real Estate Services. ABC Real Estate Services is a successful real estate agency, and they've decided to expand their businesses. So they come to me and I create for them a separate three-member LLC that runs their residential real estate agent training course. I will also create for them a separate agency to run their commercial real estate agent training course. I will then create a third real estate LLC that runs their tax lien foreclosure investing course. And for each property that they choose to invest in, I'll create a separate three-member LLC. Now, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because of two very different reasons, but one of them, and the most important, is by having an LLC that's three members or more and a C corporation, there are two layers of corporate insulation between you and any problem. Also, let's say on the positive side, the real estate school for commercial real estate agents turns out some phenomenal people. Their methods are all excellent. And a giant real estate company says, you know what? We're nationwide. We want to buy this business so we can teach all our agents this way. And this way, your business can be sold directly to them without affecting any of your other businesses. In another video, my law partner, Emmanuel Coffey, who's an intellectual property attorney and member of the patent bar, will teach you about protecting your intellectual property. That's right, even in real estate, you need to protect your intellectual property. But he will explain that in a separate video. For now, let's get back to C corporations and LLCs. When you come to Boyer Coffee LLC, we sit down with you and take the time to learn about your business, what you're in business for now, and what other businesses would flow as logical extensions from your primary business. And each and every one of those other businesses would be a three-member LLC with a managing member owned by a C-Corp. If, however, you're investing in real estate, then only one asset will be in each LLC. The reason for that is twofold. If anything happens to that asset, Let's say there's a catastrophic accident or something. You just bankrupt the LLC and it doesn't affect any of the other LLCs or the C corporation. And that way, the rest of your businesses and your personal liability is protected. Now, when you have a C corporation, your investment is limited to the value of the shares of stock 
that you own in the C Corporation. And we will make another video that will go into the C Corporation in greater detail. And you'll find out about that if you stick around to the end of this video and you click on both the subscribe button and the bell icon. And by the way, before I forget, sorry, I should have said this earlier. Thank you for spending your time with us. We appreciate it. Time is the one thing that's irreplaceable. And in another video, I'm going to teach you about a concept to make the most of your time. Because right now you're probably trading time for dollars. So I'm going to teach you in another video about evergreen marketing and leverage so that you can learn about the fourth industrial revolution. But that's a video for another time. Now, with the subchapter S corporation, piercing the corporate veil is easy. I've had numerous clients that I try to save through bankruptcy, try to just bankrupt their S corporation, and it's not successful because there's no corporate veil separating them and their personal assets from liability. You see, too many people, when they start a business, think that the law and attorneys are too expensive. I can tell you right now that Boyer Coffee LLC is affordable, aggressive, and will get things done for you the right way. All you have to do is provide us with complete and accurate information, and we'll be able to do the rest. Is when we draft the corporate document, when we draft a contract, when we create an LLC or a C Corp, it's done right and it's done according to New Jersey law exactly the way it's supposed to be. Accountants like subchapter S corporations because they generate the most paperwork, but a subchapter S corporation isn't even worth having. I defy an accountant to explain to me why a subchapter S would be superior to an LLC. And I want to touch on one other thing before we end this video, because I'm sure you've got other things to do. It's important that you realize that, as the great Vince Lombardi once said, the best defense is a good offense. So how does that apply to you and LLCs and corporations? It's simple. When you have an LLC drafted by Boyer Coffee Law or some other attorney, instead of some template-based service like Zoom, LegalZoom, or Rocket Lawyer, it's custom tailored just for you. You know that attorneys are preparing the corporate documents. You know that if you have a problem, you can pick up the phone, call and speak to your local attorney. Can't do that with Rocket Lawyer or LegalZoom. And they're not gonna be there in the courtroom when you have a problem. We are. So I urge you to think twice. Remember this rule, a good lawyer is rarely cheap. And a cheap lawyer is rarely, if ever, good. And usually, even in today's society, you get what you pay for. There are reasons for attorneys being bargain basement or paralegal or non-attorneys. You don't want to put your life, your business, your way of life in the hands of someone who can't help you. Let me ask you this one question, and you don't have to tell me the answer, but I want you to be honest with yourself. If you have chest pain, are you going to go and ask your plumber to clear that clogged artery, or are you going to seek out the best cardiologist you can find to fix your health problem? Believe it or not, I've heard from some cardiologists that people are price shopping. So it's not just in the legal profession, but in other professions. They call up and say, doctor, I've got a pain in my chest. How much is it going to cost to fix it? 
It's the same thing when you call an attorney. I don't know your exact situation. There is no one size fits all. So you need to have an honest, open conversation with your attorney before you enter into any legal agreement, especially setting up a limited liability corporation properly and a C corporation or corporation properly. Until the next video, this is Lenny the Lawyer Live. Have a great day.